Okay, iron 3 oxide can be reduced, to, uh, reduced by carbon monoxide, and I give you the balanced equation. Use the following thermodynamic data to determine the equilibrium constant at this temperature. All right, so we are looking for the K at 298. All right, to get the K, we're going to use our delta G equals negative RT times the natural log of K equation. So that means we need our delta G at 298. Um, fortunately, we have that given, uh, which does fit. Um, we do have the ability to use this row because the 298 is where that particular table is useful. So I just need to drop my coefficients down here. We're going to subtract our reactants from our products. So let's get our delta G. So positive 743.6 plus 3 times positive 137.2. I let those negatives cancel each other. I won't do anything with that next one because 2 times 0 is 2. But I'm going to add 3 times negative 394.4. And I get a delta G of negative 28. And I can add a decimal back to it. Kilojoules per mole. All right, now when I plug it into this equation, I need that as in joules. And that's because the R is in joules. Temperature is that 298 still and we are going to solve for K. So I'm going to take that, multiply it by 1,000 and get it to 28,000. Then I will divide that by the negative 8.314. Also divide that by 298. And that should be equal to the natural log of K. So I will take the inverse natural log of that value. And I get a K of, um, it's going to be listed two ways on a test. It's either going to be the uh, 80,900 or it would be 8.09 times 10 to the fourth.